Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk to you about keyword research. Now, we all know what is a keyword research. If you're an eBay seller or Amazon seller or you're selling online, you must have uh, a good keyword um, to rank your product uh, on, on the search engine. Of eBay search engine, Amazon search engine, or Google search engine for that matter. And all the product, you have to have the right keyword to get your product up, unless you're using a promoted listing or you're paying Ed, Google AdSense, Edward, to promote your listing, advertising. But what most people make mistake is people tend to go and buy uh, other keyword tools, unnecessary keyword tools product to promote their listings, which you don't have to do it. So in this one, I'll show you how easy it is. Right. For example, if you're selling on eBay, eBay gives you, it has its own keyword. Um, Amazon has its own keyword. Um, Google AdWord will give you keywords. Um, YouTube will give you keywords. So every one of them will provide you the free keyword. So if you, for example, looking for, say, you want to sell, um, say, for example, a blender. Okay. So we will go in an eBay and type blender, right? Okay. So what we need to do is just go on eBay, for example, and put blender. The blender now, as you can see in a drop down menu, it gives me Blender, Blender Argos, which is a electrical store in the UK, Asda, Blender Tutorial. It gives me all this Blender. So, what type of Blender are we looking for? Right now, if you put down Mixer, Mixer, okay, now it gives you look Blender Mixer. Blender mixer grinder. Now, if you're thinking of selling a blender with a grinder on it, obviously, this is the keyword. This is the, the keyword people type in, in blender mixer grinder. So if you press, if we press this line, now here we go. It gives us all this item. This is Google. Um, we type in, we are actually sorry, instead of. Sorry, we typed in Google, by the way. Sorry, we did not type in to um, eBay. This is Google search. So the Google is just in blender, mixer, grinder. And this is the product, what they're selling at Amazon and eBay. Right. So what we do, we can literally go to Amazon, for example, and do the same thing again. Blender, Mixer, and see what they gives us. Now, here, Amazon is suggesting a different type of stuff here. Look, Blender, Mixer, Food Processor, Set, Smoothie, it gives you, now here, here is the one, Blender, Mixer, Grinder. See what I mean? So. The people who are searching Blender, Mixer, Grinder in Google, they also, the same keyword appears in Amazon. Right. So let's have a look. If we were to open, for example, now eBay. Right, let's go on eBay and do the same again. See what pops up in eBay. Blender, Mixer, Right, here we are. Blender mixer. So blender mixer, blender. It gives you a different type of grinder. Okay. Now I spelled it wrong here. Hold on. Right, there we are. Now we just typed 
blender, mixer, grinder. So if you're thinking of selling something in eBay, so you have the keyword already there, blender, mixer, grinder. Right, so search, let's search for blender, mixer, grinder. Now, it gives us 297 li listing uh, of blender, mixer, grinder. Right. So if you're thinking of selling one of these items, how do you get that figure result down? You have to look for other keywords to get it down. Right now we are going to type the same word into Google AdWords to see what it comes up with. Sorry, blender, mixer, grinder. Right, okay. And then we're just going to do a search of the keyword we want. Okay. And we're going to get it, get it started. So it's giving me to restart my computer here. What's going on? All right. Okay, now, this is the list of amount of people searching for that keyword a monthly on UK's um, Google AdWord, okay? Blender Mixer, 10 to 100, okay? Mixer Grinder, 1,000 to 10,000 people are searching for this keyword, okay? You have Juicer Mixer, Philips Mixer. See, these are the keywords you can use in your listing in eBay. But this is this is for a bit uh, experienced, complicated people who are selling it. So, for the time being, we go back to um, eBay and we see there's a result of 200 and what, uh, 297. Okay. Now, if we put, if we put the word smoothie next to it, smoothie, see what happens to this result now. Wow. So, just adding the word smoothie into blender, mixer, grinder, smoothie. Now he has dropped to 107 against 297, I think. Yeah, so look at that. It's almost, almost more than, you see, half itself already by adding another word to it. And what we done, we just we, we use the words smoothie. Now we see if we can get down a bit, even more. So how do we find how to get down? Will you look at other people's listing? Now we can look at other people's listing here. Look, here's the white guy used the word smoothie here. Right. Now he also used the word food mixer. Right. So what we can do, we can use, let's have a look what happens when we use the word food mixer. Just put the word food instead of mixer because we have already got it, the word mixer here. So we don't need to put mixer. So just put food and see what happens to the result here. Here. Let's put it down. Wow, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I hope you watching this carefully, learning how to get a decent keyword. Look, now we drop to 77 result. Now, please tell me. If you're listing something, trying to sell something, or some item like a mixer or blender, prior to this I've sold you 297 results. Now we are chopping down, breaking down to the lowest number. Now if you put up uh, to, uh, your listing, same title as those guys using 297, you do you think any chance of you selling your items or well, high chance of selling it now using these keywords, blender, mixer, 
grinder smoothie food. See if we can grind it down a bit, a bit more down, see what happens, okay. Now, is here, as you can see, this chappy used the word fruit, okay, or veg. Now, if you can see it, hold on. Mixture grinder, fruit or veg, okay. Now, if we do, see what happens if we use the word, if we type in the word fruit. But let's see what happens now. Okay, so we are in the 77, the result is 77 now. And we adding the word fruit. Search. Wow, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. It has dropped to 26 results. Look, 26 now. See what I mean? So what we, we've done, we picked up a keyword blender, mixer grinder, then we added the word smoothie food fruit by watching what other people have put in, in their listings. Right, let's go down a bit. Now we use the guys, the first listings, all, all of them in keywords. We can actually put veg if we wanted to see what happens. Let's use the word veg next to the fruit. See what happens now. V E G. Okay, veg, veg all. Okay. Let's do a little search on that. See what if it comes up. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're watching this or getting this. Right. This is the holy grail of every damn thing. Look. Now look at this. At $24.99, find this damn product. Right. And stick this title I've just suggested, okay? Blender, mixer, grinder, smoothie, fruit, veg. And instead of 297 competitors, you will be competing against one guy. So your result will be next to this this guy. So I don't need to you don't need to be a PhD degree to find this out. So how easy is that? How cool is that? I can easily sell this your item now. It's easily you can sell it now. Easy peasy. You put up this title on your listing when you're selling a blender. Right? And you I, I promise you your listing will be up there next to this chap. So you have only two listings and chances of selling higher price. Instead of charging twenty five, he sold two hundred and eighty seven, right? Twenty four 95. You could put that up to 29.95 or 30.90, whatever, and you'll sell it. You'll sell it all day long because you have only two listings instead of 297 listings. So this is how, ladies and gentlemen, you break down and find the nice the keyword. There is no need to spend silly money on buying all this so-called keyword tools out there. Spend very few spend a bit of time, research your keyword, see what other people are writing, type it into eBay's search engine and see what it comes up with. The lowest number, the possible lowest number you can get up down to is your selling point. And your item will be listing and you'll make money. I hope this video has given you a bit of uh, info. If you like it, please click the like button, please subscribe button, and also thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please click like and subscribe button, and if you have any comment, please put it on the comment box. Thank you so much for watching.